Since everybody likes snub nose revolvers, we're going to take a look at another one today. What we have today is the Pieta 1860. Well, you're probably saying to yourself, didn't we already take a look at the Pieta 1860? And the answer is yes, but actually no. The one we looked at last time is what Pieta calls an 1860, but it's in 36 caliber. And of course, the 1860 was never made in 36 caliber. The 1860 is a 44 caliber gun. So, what we're looking at today is the actual 44 caliber 1860 that Pieta makes. As you can see, it's pretty much identical to the 36 caliber one we looked at earlier. Same 3 inch barrel, same bird's head grip. The only difference, of course, is this one is in the correct caliber for an 1860, not the wrong caliber that this one was in. So anyway, we're going to take it out to the range and see what it'll do. So these come with a brass rod, which is supposed to use to seat the ball in the cylinder. But once again, we're not going to use this. We're going to do it the easier way. The way I like doing it is to take the barrel and cylinder off and load the cylinder on a loading stand. So that's what we're going to do. First thing is to wrap out the wedge. Just give that a little tap and the wedge comes right out. You can slip the barrel off and slip the cylinder off. So we'll put this on the loading stand and start loading with that. I'm going to start out with a fairly mild load of 25 grains of GoX 3F powder. We'll top that with a lubricated wad and a Hornady 454 round ball. Press that down. Okay. There we go. I'll load up the other five and we'll start shooting. And the last step will be to cap it. Just throw the caps on with this Ted Cash capper, like so. Just do all six like that, and we'll be ready to go. All right, as is our usual practice, we're going to start off at 15 yards on the IDPA target. And we got the 44 caliber 1860 snub nose revolver. Let's see what this will do. And a cap jam. What a surprise. All right, stand by while I clear this. Okay, we're back. Okay, so not too shabby. I was aiming here. So it's hitting about, I don't know, four or five inches high. This was the first shot out of the clean gun. So this was the other five clustered in a group of, I don't know, probably about four inches or so, give or take. So not too shabby for a little revolver at 15 yards. So I have to excuse the noise. There's a police department doing qualification over on the next range over there and they're being a bit loud. I bumped up the powder charge to 30 grains, and I also switched out the caps. I was using the CCI number 10s, but I switched out to the Remington number 11s because the CCIs, I think, were giving me problems. So we'll see if this do, does any better. All right, so another six shots downrange with the 1860-44 caliber snub nose revolver. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that certainly has a bit more punch to it. All right, let's look at the target. All right, so that's a 30 grain charge. Just caught one up here that almost made it out, but the others are in a pretty decent group. That's about uh, four and a half inches or so at 15 yards at the three inch snubby. Not too bad, I guess. All right, let's ring some steel. So that's just a quick look at the Pieta 1860 44 caliber snub nose revolver. Feel free to leave a comment below to let me know what you think. And as always, thanks for watching.